Hi, my name is Anthony Flores. Uh, I go to St. Therese uh, here in Rapid City. That's my parish. And I guess, you know, I grew up with no uh, religion, really. I didn't have any prayer life, anything that went on. Um, and, uh, you know, for me, God was like a punchline. I mean, really, that's all it was to me. And, and finally, you know, I, after a lot of darkness, uh, alcoholism kind of took over my life. And, and at about the age 35, it just hit me. Um, I, uh, I prayed for the first time. And uh, I'll just never forget, you know, the moment where I did that. And, and uh, in that just real quick prayer of just help, really, is all I said, that really uh, started something. Uh, started something in my life that I haven't uh, let go of since. Uh, I, I knew there was a God, I didn't know who it was, and you know, and it uh, took me a while to get to Christianity, much less the Catholic Church, because I'd heard about you people. You know, I knew what you guys were all about, and I was like, God, please, just any church but that one. And and then uh, finally, eventually, I not only began to develop a relationship with Jesus Christ, but found the Catholic Church, which really is just, I'm just in love with the church today. and. And so grateful for that, you know, and, and um, my prayer life really, you know, for a while there, I mean, it'd be amazing if my uh, routine was, you know, a full minute of prayer, you know, in the morning, but I, I I'd had learned that that routine was important. And so I prayed um, every morning. And, uh, and again, it, it might have lasted a minute sometimes, you know, but as time has gone on, you know, I I started to uh, add other things into my prayer, and and uh, I'll never forget the first time um, that I uh, wanted to pray the Rosary, you know, and and uh, and it was just just hit me. I had to do it, and I went to the religion teachers. I happened to work at a Catholic school, and I'm like, you got to teach me how to do this. And she gave me everything I needed, and for two years, that really uh, really was my prayer in the morning, and. And today, you know, it's become more about the mass readings, the daily mass readings, uh, sometimes just reading straight out of the Gospels. Uh, I add different things into my prayer, still pray the rosary, things of that nature. But, uh, but you know, what really kind of hit me as well is uh, that I learned that prayer wasn't something you just do um, a certain way. You know, I always thought, oh, you have to be on your knees. If you're not on your knees, he's not really hearing you, you know, or... I thought maybe that, you know, somebody forgot to give me the manual and all you religious people were keeping it away from me. And in reality, it was just uh, more about becoming comfortable with it. And, and I read a book by Matthew Kelly that changed my life because he just said, you know, he talked about this guy that was in this big chair and that's where he prayed every morning. And I was like, man, you could do that? I didn't even know you could do that. And so I started to... Uh, uh, pray in a certain chair that I still pray in today and you know when I'm in that chair no matter whether I'm praying or not I just feel that presence of God and, and that's where I do my morning prayer and since you know I've uh, really struggled trying to add prayer at night and I'm a hit or miss guy you know sometimes it's pretty pretty uh, you know not much there but other times uh, there's a lot more that I do and my wife and I pray together which was something that certainly didn't happen before I came into the Catholic Church and so I guess I'd leave, you know, leave you with uh, trial and error. I mean, that's what uh, Matthew Kelly said in the book. It's all about trial and error. What's working, what doesn't, and you just keep trying until you find something that works, you know. And that and, you know, since I go to St. Therese, there is a just a little uh, quote from her, I think, is really kind of a cool one about prayer. But she said, uh, I pray like children who do not know how to read. I say very simply to God what I wish to say without composing beautiful sentences, and he always understands me. And that's probably one of my favorite ones right there. Uh, some of the fruits that come out of it are some of the uh, noise that I get to stop. You know, I, we live in a world where it's just noise, noise, noise. And those morning prayers, uh, when I'm in that meditation, not only praying and asking God and talking to God, but also receiving whatever it is he has to say to me, without that silence, um, I just don't think I make a lot of very good decisions during the day. Uh, so I hear things, you know, occasionally, you know, it's, it's in my own voice, but it's, you know, you hear just thoughts or ideas or, and I just know how many times it's the Holy Spirit just telling me what direction I need to go in. And what it helps me do is it really helps me 
um, focus on, uh, on really doing what's the next right thing. You know, um, I hear God um, directing my thoughts, directing my actions. It, uh, it allows me not to, you know, blow things out of proportion. You know, if uh, things aren't going my way, uh, I don't react as I used to. Certainly before I, prayer was in my life, uh, the reaction, I, I really didn't know what that would be. It would always be different each and every time. Uh, you know, not always, certainly never positive before. And nowadays, I just hear that little voice that says, you know, wait, hold on. Um, let me guide you. You know, uh, there's a comfort in that too. Certainly that's what I felt the first time I prayed. It was a, an experience I'll never forget. Uh, it was as if God kind of covered over me. And um, I just, I went from not believing in God to not believing in God, but knowing he's there. That I think was the biggest difference for me.